actually how accurate is allergy testing, particularly for foods? Um, there, first, let me describe this three diff basic three different types of allergy testing that are currently available. Um, there's one called RAS testing or specific IgE or blood testing for, for food allergies. And there's prick skin testing, which is a little scratch testing. Those are both testing for immediate reactions to foods. So the, the ones that you test for your, pe your peanut highs, your pe milk anaphylaxis, milk with your trouble breathing. Um, the, those testing by themselves are so-so, to say at best. You have, if you're negative on those testing, 80, 90% of the time, you probably don't have that food causing symptoms, with the exception of milk. Milk, the t allergy testing misses milk all the time. Um, the positive predicted values, if you're positive, how good that test is, varies from the foods, but generally it's pretty poor. A little less than flipping a coin, so under 50%. So if you're positive less than 50% of the time, that's actually gonna be a real food. It's probably about a third of the time. There are another test, something called ATP patch test, is something we have done for a long time. Um, it's not available at all institutions. Some people think it's research, some people think it's standard of care, that's a whole se separate debate. But it's looking for delayed reactions to foods, which we think is more relevant in eosinophilic esophagitis. But again, it's not a perfect test. What we've done in our institution is looking at the combination using skin test and patch test together. And if you're negative to both of those tests, about nine, over 95% of the time, that food's not causing a problem. Again, with the exception of milk. Milk, the test is inaccurate. It, you can be negative and still react to the food very commonly. Then the follow-up is how good is a positive test? A positive test, if you're positive on skin test or patch test, about 25 to 30% of the time, if you're positive, that food's really causing disease. So making the test, it helps more guidance for the negatives than the positives. If you're negative, they tend to be helpful. The positives gives you maybe a place to go, a place where to start. Other testing that are not, that, that are commercially available but not typically covered, IgG testing, um, ALCA testing have not been well studied. IgG testing tends to be really a poor diagnostic value in all the current studies and is not currently recommended, but it really hasn't been well studied. ALCOT has not been studied at all. It has, has some potential, but again, this really hasn't been studied. So at this point, those things would be purely on a research basis.